Welcome, this is Zong with Repro Products. This screencast video is in request to an end user who is having issues with using this IEI thickened slab family inside a project. Here he's created that particular profile family that has a rectangular sweep and two triangular sweeps with some visibility settings to display or not display the triangular portions of this particular profile for a foundation. If we look at it in the context of a project and start a new structural template uh, project, we'll head over to the structure tab, create some structural walls, head over to level one, swap back to the profile that he's working with. We can load it into the project and then his function and use is placing it on the work plane where he draws it on the center line of the wall. When he does this, it places that particular profile and usage here. You can see that the footing is created for that wall. And in essence, he's using an isolated uh, foundation for a wall foundation. If he switches it to a fine level of detail, he can see the uh, triangular profiles. If he switches to a plan view and moves this over again to a fine level of detail, this is what he gets. His issue is it doesn't clean up very nicely in the corners, and it's very difficult to get him to see, get Revit to see the um, triangular profiles. Um, the way he's gotten around doing it is to use in the modify tab, the hidden line command, line work tool command to hide certain lines that he wants to, uh, doesn't want to see and, you know, it's kind of his workaround. <clears throat> Here is another approach to creating this type of object in 3D so that way it functions nicely and it looks presentable and you can also use it for rebar and it'll clean up this corner. When we take a look at um, a new project, close this out and close out his file. Um, I went ahead and created a new profile for a slab edge and made it just a triangular portion as you can see here. And I created multiple types of different sizes, six inches up to 12 inches. I then took it and loaded into a project. And if we head over to a 3D view, you can see we have a couple of structural walls here and we can see that we've got that triangular profile being used here as a slab edge. So how did I do this? First off, we create the walls. We then head over to the structure tab, use the wall foundation command to create a typical bearing footing 36 by 12 or whatever size that you want and place it on those walls. Using this method, when we look at this in plan view, you can see that it cleans up the corners nicely. So the first issue is resolved. <clears throat> the second issue has to do with the triangular profiles. Since um, we cannot take and create a custom shaped profile for an isolated footing or a um, <clears throat> wall foundation, uh, we have to play with it a little bit. What I'll do is head over to the architecture tab, <clears throat> use the model line command with a pick method and lock, and I'll select the edge, and it locks a model line to the edge of that. And I do it on both sides of both footings, as well as, if necessary, adjusting the ends of those model lines <clears throat> so they clean up nicely. Now that I've created the model lines, I can use my floor slab edge command. <clears throat> because when we look at the floor slab edge command, in the lower left hand corner, your command line will say it wants to look for a floor, a slab edge, or a model line. Since we only have the model line to work with, we can select that model line. If we head over to the type selector, um, I've created a slab edge <clears throat> called footing slab edge in different sizes to coincide with that family. So I'll start with a 12 inch <clears throat> and I'll click to place the first one. 
and I can use my toggle switches here to flip the orientation. So I head over to the other side and just keep creating the same content. And now you can see that <clears throat> the slab, triangular slab edges work nicely with that structural wall foundation bearing footing. The depth of this one is 12 inches, and this one is also coincides as 12 inches. So if the end user decides to take these two wall foundations and switch them to a different size, say 10 inch, what ends up happening is you'll have to end, you'll have to select the triangular slab profile slab edges and switch them from the 12 inches to the 10 inches and it cleans up nicely. If you want to for graphic purposes you can go head over to the modify tab of the ribbon geometry panel and use join geometry to join the objects together. That way the line work looks clean <clears throat> and just do a quick glance around. And if you really want to hide the 3D uh, model lines, you can do so as well. You can't select one and right click and say select all instances in the pro entire project were visible. You have to actually manually <clears throat> go through and select the ones that you want and holding the control key, you can add the ones that you need. Once you have them selected, then you can right click and hide them, say by category and they're gone. Doing this will help you visibly see what other objects need to be joined together. So for example, this one needs to be joined with this, and you'll get a clean line. Now if we head back over to the plan view, <clears throat> you'll see that your walls are joined nicely, those footings are joined nicely, and um, if we look at what's hidden, I have those triangular slab edge footings hidden by category. So if I unhide by category, then you can see them now. And this is really from the standpoint of the end user wanting to be able to say, I want to be able to see those triangular slab edges in 3D but not in plan. So they can go through the process of <clears throat> selecting all of them and hiding them by category. And if necessary, they can go through select the model lines individually or in groups and hide them as well. And there's a quick video tutorial on how to work with your structural um, foundation isolated and wall for a particular design situation using triangular edges and rectangular to create a custom profile. Thank you very much for watching.